What's up? Welcome back to another full self-driving video. We're going across town to a place called Ramen Belly. Time to get some lunch. Bring you along for the ride. We're running hardware 4 full self-driving beta version 11.4.4. Hope everybody's doing well. This does have some highway travel, so we're going to test some on-ramps and off-ramps. Got a turn signal to the right here, unnecessary. Getting into the right turn lane nice and early. Hope everybody's having a great day. Been enjoying this full self drive of driving beta testing. We got a, this is an interesting uh, three way stop sign. People from the left are not supposed to stop. It's paused a little bit here. As you see, that did well because that white vehicle did not have a stop sign. We waited nicely for it. We're gonna head right here on 2nd Street. Nice day for filming, nice and bright. Car wash on the right, car wash on the left. There's a car wash every block in this town. So I just got, I had a uh, warning for my tires being low in air pressure. Kind of surprised. It's cold, it's getting cold. It was down in the 30s and dropped from 42 PSI down to about 35 PSI overnight and all four tires. Went ahead and went to Lowe's. First time in my life we purchased a tire inflator for the garage. It worked really well. I was tired of stopping at gas stations and using those out in the cold. So we got one of these personal uh, portable tire inflators plugged into the 12 volt, 12 volt outlet that's located here in the arm armrest and work, worked beautifully. Inflated them to uh, right over 40 PSI. Tesla likes to, you, you wanna make sure your tires are, are inflated with Tesla's maximize that, that range. So, so far so good with today's drive. I don't anticipate any problems on this on this route. So we got a van creeping out here on the right. Picks it up nicely. Yeah, beta's been very smooth lately. I did do some testing as we're getting into the left lane here. I don't know why. We're gonna need to be going right. Beta's been doing that. It gets into the left lane, but we're turning right in point three miles so what's the point in getting in the left lane mm, it's just going to create issues when we have to get right back into the right lane 0.2 miles we're going to be going right so what are we doing here beta you're going to miss the turn 0.1 mile going right now it's changing lanes now it wants to change lanes now it caused a problem yeah that was Ill-advised. I guess it's getting into the left lane because it wants to sit there before it exits, but yeah, a human would definitely not do that. All right, so we're going right here. We're going to get onto the highway up ahead. The turn vectors are just fantastic. Um, they've really solved that well. Nice, smooth turns all the time. So definitely getting into the right lane here makes sense. Even though it's before the, the stoplight, we want to get in the right lane before we get off onto the highway. So yeah, I've been making a lot of shorts lately. Made a few the other day about cul-de-sacs. Got hung up. One, it almost ran me head on into a car. Um, I, it was an interesting comment. Somebody said, there was a car on the right, I was heading into a cul-de-sac, and I was anticipating, I mean, it saw the car on the monitor. I anticipated that it was just gonna go around the car and then head into the cul-de-sac, but it pointed right at the car, and I swear to you, started accelerating. Um, and I had to take over 
some people said in the comments like it thought the car was just on the road it was just getting behind the car and it would have stopped yeah maybe I mean I don't take over unless I absolutely have to and I felt like I had to take over I mean I felt like it was gonna run right into the back of that car so check out that short let me know what you think um, but yeah otherwise cul-de-sacs it freezes on the cul-de-sacs you have to hit the accelerator it says like can't complete the maneuver similar to like maybe trying to do a u-turn um, just can't do it I mean it does it but you have to hit the accelerator to coax it along all right so we're getting on the highway here it was nice and slow on the on-ramp as we accelerate up here to 55 no cars in our blind spot it should be a smooth transition So there is a sign upping it to 65 here in a little bit as all these cars fly past us. I'm going to just wait for, for it to see if it picks up this 65 mile an hour sign on the right as we got a semi coming up on our left. So it sees the sign, it accelerates to 65 miles an hour as we're getting past. Now here's another situation. All right, it wants to get into the left lane. I'm going to let it. We've got two miles to our exit. I guess on this three lane highway, normally I would just stay in the right lane. A lot of people would probably get all the way over to the left lane and gun it for two miles. Uh, so yeah, it wants to ride in the middle lane right now. We've got two miles to our exit. I'm fine with that. I got it. My tires freshly pumped up. We're good to go. Yeah, I got a, what was it? Not Black & Decker. All right, we're changing lanes to the right. Yeah, so I mean, I just view that whole lane change on the left as totally unnecessary. Another thing I've noticed on the highway is that sometimes it'll sit in the left lane. It'll change all the way left lane, then sit in left lane, and people are passing me on the right. Um, okay, I gotta pay attention here, because we got some uneven lanes and some construction here, and I got a semi on my left. So we're gonna make sure we don't die. So far, so good. I'm sitting in this truck's blind spot. We got cones on the right here. I don't enjoy sitting in this truck's blind spot, but that's where we are. Just giant pieces of metal flying down the highway. Uh, yeah, now we're getting into the right lane. That's fine. We got an exit in 0.6 miles. Four lane highway here. Now, if one of these giant pieces of metal flies off this truck, do I take over or do I let FSD do whatever, whatever it's going to do? I don't know if it picks up stuff like that, debris in the road. We gotta do some testing with that. We gotta we gotta put some stuff in the road and see how we do. Preferably not going 65 miles an hour. Looks like we're gonna stay behind this semi. He's also getting off at the Dubuque Street exit. So we get to stay right behind the deadly pieces of metal. Hopefully they're tied down. All right, ramp. That sign said 45 miles an hour ramp. As a human, I know it's a 45 mile an hour ramp, but that sign was all jacked up. Um, it is going 45, well, it's slowing down now. It says 65, so it didn't pick up that sign. It has no idea what the speed limit on the ramp, exit ramp is. As a human, I was able to use my meat brain and calculate that even though that sign was all jacked up, it's still 45 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna need to creep out here a little bit for visibility. I'm not even turning my head to see if cars are coming. I'm just trusting. <sighs> Exhilarating. All right, so 35 miles an hour here. We're gonna head up here and take a right. So far, so good, no takeovers. A little bit kind of robotic decisions on the highway with some of those lane changes, but otherwise a smooth drive. I mean, the other kind of thing that's somewhat robotic is like sitting in that back right blind spot of that semi on the highway. I mean, as a human, I'm either, if I'm on the right of a truck like that, I'm either passing it quickly 
or falling back and getting over to the left, but I'm not gonna just like sit there unless I have to. But the robot does not have that consideration. As we got a truck here turning, it yields nicely for it. That was a nice job at that intersection. We do have a couple speed bumps up here, my nemesis. These are big speed bumps actually, so I wanna see how it does on these as we get to the end of our drive. Just got a car here on the right. So far so good, 25 mile an hour speed limit. I'm gonna up that to 30 because going 25 here feels too slow. And I do like that you're able to tell FSD to break the law. So we are currently breaking the law five miles an hour over as every human would do on this road. Not a single human would go 25 miles an hour. Every human would go at least 30. So we're gonna have our robot go 30 as well. So thanks for coming along for the drive. We do have a couple speed bumps up here. If you wanna hang out with me till the end, they're big speed bumps, if I remember right. And I wanna see if it picks up on them. Our nemesis, the speed bumps. Yeah, I wanna thank everybody for subscribing. We're having a lot of fun on this channel. We're gonna keep testing. We're loving it. Can't wait to test the Cybertruck. Can't wait, wait to test some other things. So stay tuned. We got a truck here stopped wanting to come out in front of us. It sees it. We have the right of way, continues on nicely. This is one of those roads where there's no center line and it's kind of hugging the center almost a little too much. So we have oncoming traffic here and it needs to get over to the right or it's gonna be rude. It gets over at the last second, but humans aren't gonna hug the center like that as much as it does. So on these unmarked roads, it really should do a better job of staying on the right side. Sometimes you have one lane and then obviously you wanna be in the middle, but this is clearly wide enough to be a two lane. Its instinct is to kind of stay in the middle. All right, speed bump ahead. I'm gonna break. I don't want to ruin my suspension here. So if it doesn't see it, yeah, I'm breaking. This does not see it. Let's re-engage. There's another one right up here. Does it see it? Does it see it? Yeah, sees this one, breaks as we approach the mailman. This is kind of interesting, really narrow. We got cars parked on the side. Let's see if it'll navigate through here gets over the right nicely. Yeah, nice job there. Another speed bump. 17 miles an hour over that one, that's okay. So right here, we should not be in the center like this. We're coming up to a curve, it should be off to the right. We got a car here, it sees it, but that's a, just a perfect reason why we should have been at the, in the center there as we get to the end of our drive. Pork belly, ramen. Hope everybody, if you're, if it's cold, winter's coming, fill your belly with some ramen noodles. That's what I'm about to do as we reach our destination. Thanks guys for coming along. I think it's gonna stop here. It's trying to decide where are we gonna stop? Where are we gonna stop? I'm gonna find out. All right, it's gonna stop here. All right, thanks for coming along guys. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.